become of STR if God is in time? From what has been said, God's existence in time would imply that H.A. Lorentz, rather than Einstein, had the correct physical interpretation of the mathematical core of relativity theory. That is to say, Einstein's clock synchronization procedure would be valid only in the preferred or absolute reference frame, and measuring rods would contract and clock slow down in the customary special relativistic way when in motion relative to the preferred frame. Such an interpretation would be implied by divine temporality, for God in the now of absolute time would know which events in the universe are now being created by him and are therefore absolutely simultaneous with each other and with his now. This startling conclusion shows that Newton's theistic hypothesis is not some idle speculation but has important implications for our understanding of how the world is and for the assessment of rival scientific theories. Lorentzian relativity is admitted on all sides to be at least empirically equivalent to Einsteinian relativity. And there are even indications on the cutting edge of physics today that a Lorentzian view may be preferable in light of recent discoveries. In fact, due to developments in quantum physics, there has been what one participant in the debate has called a sea change in the attitude of the physics community toward Lorentzian relativity. Again, none of this proves that Newton was right in thinking that God is in time. But it does undercut the claim that STR has proven Newton to be wrong. The defender of divine temporality can plausibly reject the first premise of the argument for divine timelessness based on the special theory of relativity. In conclusion, relativity theory does not provide good grounds for thinking that God is timeless. The Einsteinian interpretation of STR is based essentially upon an untenable and obsolete verific verificationist epistemology, and so cannot force abandonment of the classical concept of absolute time, which is constituted by God's duration. Moreover, GTR, in its cosmological application, furnishes us with a cosmic time parameter, which may be plausibly interpreted as the appropriate measure of God's time since the moment of creation. Thank you.